Hey guys, it's Shanti here again in my YouTube yoga channel. Today we are going to do some strength poses. It is week seven-ish in our yoga quarter. And this week we're learning poses that are gonna make us strong. So the six poses we have are slippery pose, side plank pose, boat pose, dock pose, crane pose, and side crane. The crane pose is our arm balance, it's where we actually stand on our hands, so it's exciting. You need to build strength in the center of your body in order to be strong enough to hold yourself in an arm balance. So we're going to try to do that this week. The very first pose is slippery pose. So to do this pose, you come onto your belly. Lay down on your belly, take one arm reaching forward, roll onto that side, take your other arm and catch hands overhead. So I already look kind of silly, right? This is a silly pose. So we're gonna lift our head, shoulders, and legs off the floor. And I named it slippery pose because you do kind of slip around on your mat. You wiggle a lot, but you're building strength in your body. <laughs> and then release the pose. So if you're doing it right, you're gonna wiggle around like that. Second side, you stay facing forward. I'm just turning on my mat so I can still see you. So, reach the other arm off your mat, roll onto that side. Catch hands overhead, try not to show your belly, tuck in your shirt. Catch hands overhead and then lift up, shoulders and legs. Woo. So now the left side of my body is getting strong, strong, strong. I'm slipping all over the mat, I'm trying to breathe at the same time. Whew. Great. Next is side plank pose. I'm going to show you two variations of side plank already warm. These poses make your body strong and they get your blood flowing. So if you want to, you can take off your hoodie and leave it at the front of your mat. Great. Next is boat. No, side plank. So for side plank, we'll start in table. Face forward. Take one leg back and then turn your hip. You know, lift your arm up. Reach your arm overhead so you're still in the frame. That's one version of side plank. Okay. The other version is you start in table, you step your both feet back, and then you turn your feet to one side and lift that up. Yeah, side plank pose. Your drishti or your focal point is up at the sky, so you can look up. Good, come on down. Release, shake that hand out that we were just leaning on. And then we'll do the second side. So the first hand, one, we start in table, reach your leg back, Second variation, both hands down, step to plank, roll your heels to the side and lift your arm up. If this gets too tiring, you can take this bottom knee and lower it, just like we did a moment ago. Come on down, hands, both knees down. Great. Next is boat pose. For boat pose, you begin seated on your mat with your feet flat and your knees bent. With me? Take your hands behind your knees and lean. Lift your feet off the floor. Here you are in the pose. Here you are in boat pose. If you want to challenge yourself, reach your arms forward. Now try not to let your lower back round. This is not the pose. You want to lift your low back up away from the floor. You're getting really strong in your belly. Keep breathing. Maybe your legs go straight. Keep lifting that low back up, up, up. And then even more challenge, reach your arms up. That's boat. Lift, 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 and then release. Give yourself a hug. Next is dock pose. So a boat sleeps at the dock, right? So our dock pose is we start from laying down. On an exhale, lift your head, shoulders, and legs. It's like boat, but way lower. So a nice straight line, you're breathing. Keep breathing. See if you can hold for two more breaths. Release. Let your arms stretch. Take a big stretch. Pull your knees in. Give yourself a hug. Come up and sit. All right, so these next ones are the arm balances. They're a little bit crazy. If you can't do it, that's okay. I want you to try. The more you practice, the more likely you're going to be to get the pose. Oh no, let's see. My 
screen went blank. I wonder if it's still recording. Shit. Okay. Yep, still recording, of course. Hi. All right, so for crane pose, we begin in our low squat, okay? So you come into the front of your mat and squat. Your feet are on the floor, your heels are lifted up a little bit, your knees are open, okay? Your hands come inside your knees, your knees are outside your elbows. I want your knees to squeeze in, right? Your legs are squeezing in. At the same time, your arms have to press out on your legs so there's an energetic connection. It's almost like your elbow and your knee are fighting each other, okay? And that strength lifts you off the floor. So to start, take your hands down about the width of your shoulders, so walk them a little bit apart, lift onto your tiptoes, look forward, Remember, you need a drishti. Pick up one foot, put it down. Pick up the other foot, put it down. Maybe that's your crane. You just play with those two. Eventually, you pick up one foot and then the other. And you try and touch your toes to each other. Fun, right? Great. Now, eventually, once you've done that a lot, you can do it a little bit higher. So you lift your heels off the floor. You tuck your knees into the backs of your arms, lean out. Remember to look in one spot and touch toes. Even further, jump to a push-up, chaturanga. <laughs> Just for fun, maybe, maybe not. After crane pose is side crane. Now this is a super hard challenging pose. Last week we did our chair twist, remember this? So this pose preps us for this pose. So to get into this pose, you stand on your toes, your knees are together, pointing forward. Take your hands to your heart, turn to one side, right? So now I want your elbow to the outside of your knee and your other elbow into your hip. Spread your hands wide and away from each other. Lean over, lift your back foot. Take it down, and maybe you lift both feet up. Maybe. Whee, it's fun, side crane. Further still, try and make your legs straight. <sighs> or not. Great, make sure you try on the other side. It's okay if you're getting warm. <laughs> Remember to breathe. Whew. Great, so there are so many ways you can go with this. You will not be able to do these poses your first time, most likely, that's okay. That's why it's called yoga practice, not yoga perfect. So let's learn these poses together, do your best. The more you try, the closer you'll get. Happy practicing. Namaste.